greatness and legacy. So representation matters, diversity lacks. And as a woman who literally does not fit the mold of society, that didn't sit well with me. Um, so, you know, the history that's locked in our hair is why we take a stand against hair discrimination. Black women and black hair is mm. beautiful. So when others don't understand our hair or force us to flatten our chemically process or chemically process our hair, we no longer abide by these constraints. Others see it as just hair. To me, it's never hair. It's never just hair. You know, even the fact that I cover my hair, it holds so much significance as I'm honoring my crown underneath. You know, I cover it because it is beauty and there's more reasons. But, you know, society would have you believe that you have to wear um, your hair a certain way for it to be deemed acceptable. But I'm here to say whether I choose to wear my hair in Afro styles, goddess locks, bantu knots, or whether I choose to cover my hair, my hair, my business. And 